Wow, those are some wild looking fucking wild looking. That's why I think it's their ARPs. They're just 12 points. And I thought this would have had bolts instead of studs. So this is a pretty heavily modified little motor. Yeah, it was, I mean, I don't think there was a lot of expenses spared building this car. Well, it's all university right. money. Well, the, the checks were written by a larger company and the university supplied the students and the facilities, but uh, a big, uh, extra parts. Oh, they had their name? Uh, that was the first thing we did, is took their name off of the body. I need to get another box for parts. Huh. That's weird. What? What's that look like on the cap? Does it look like dog, some... Dog chew marks? Of course it does. <laughs> Coolant dripping over here. Keep everything semi clean. All right, washer we dropped. Nut we dropped. And then it's got these girdles. Never seen these. I don't know if these, I don't think these are going to be factory. That's what you mean by the girdles. And then. Do those. Do these come. Oh no, they don't come out from the head. But. They got spark plug housing. Yeah, not on this one. There's still, looks like, possible assembly loop or something on these washers. Wow, so this thing probably didn't have any runtime. I would speculate maybe a couple of hours. And then. Start, stop, the, slight dyno tuning. The front and rear girdles have these, like, pressure pads. Yeah, I've seen those. The threaded, uh, Threaded pieces? Yeah. Seems a little odd. Everything seems to be steel though, not so much aluminum. Not oh, the head's all aluminum. Now what's the girls do, I wonder? Keeps the extra structure to it. You wouldn't think 10, 10 PSI would be excessive for this little motor. I'm not sure if they're tuned for 10 or if the engine is built for more. Well, by per book, it says it's at 10.5 PSI. Right, at. But if they intended on this thing making 500 horse, which is what they claimed possibly it made or could make. Um, I don't think that's going to happen on 10 horse. I could be wrong. Do you, you really think that this 2.2 could make 500? Yeah. On E85 with the right injectors and tune, and I wouldn't say why not. They do that with 2.4 liter K series. They get thousand horsepower That's but true. they're running 30 pounds of boost 20s the more more air you could shove in the more fuel the more power yeah and and there's like just an, uh, some, some of this stuff confuses me i'm not sure if this is the correct way to build this stuff it's the way they did but it just seems sketch to me some of this i'll get the camera off and show better in a minute more washer to get up off the thing that's just kind of like glued into the head I don't know if you can see down in there because there's the girdle between the studs but then there's just like a, a nut glued to the bottom that I honestly don't know exactly what it's doing try to get in here and get this washer up The 
assembly lubes acting like a glue. All right. I think that's all the washers. That front and rear girdle, I don't know how I'm getting those in and out without taking the cams off, so we're going to leave them alone. These kind of look like washers, but I don't think they are. Let's see if the head moves. going to be a little bit of a pain with studs. look out yeah we're just binding on them studs that carbon fiber belly is definitely in the way Are we binding this side? It's, I don't know. It's going to kind of fight the whole way because of the studs.
got the head off finally. It was kind of a pain with the studs. I'm curious. I've never seen anybody put gray RTV all over a head gasket. Um, in my opinion, that does not sound like a very good idea. Uh, and that might explain why we had so much issues with head gaskets. In addition to the system not being able to vent pressure, but we got RTV oozed in head bolt holes. I mean, the whole thing is coated with RTV. I'm going to start getting this thing cleaned off and see if I can throw a straight edge on here and see if I can tell if we got any warpage to the head. Uh, hopefully not. Um, the head has been fairly heavily machined. We've got ports. Let me get a flashlight on it. And then as far as the next being welded in place for the radiator cooling yeah, so upper hose hopefully this thing's okay and we don't have to do too much machine work to it we can just call it a fail of rtv head gasket and no pressure and hopefully call it good put it back together and get this thing running again I want you guys watch me clean a little bit of gasket off for a few minutes but i won't make you watch all of that ports don't have to be in the box, like how mine goes in and around all that, I could have it come straight out and over, or just come straight. Yeah, I don't so think that's going to seal compression very well. So, I'm going to keep cleaning, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. So you think right. you can put we, another yeah. head gasket on, or you got to get mm. some wild shit? No, I just need a head gasket. I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, RTV all over the block too, and then the ceiling ring for the coolant jackets around the cylinders but we got obvious burn through black um yeah i don't think you should ever use rtv on a head gasket i'm not sure who thought this was a good idea but i'm very glad to see something obviously failed uh so we don't ha have to be as concerned with cracks in the head or the block or anything else so i'm gonna go ahead and keep cleaning here in a minute i'll show you guys the so much there's the block the just covered in our tv so we'll get her cleaned up and check her for any kind of warpage and surfaces and we'll be back here in a minute all right we got the head cleaned up enough that we can check it for warpage we got my machinist straight edge here we'll put that down on there uh, i just put down my feeler gauge um and two thousandths of an inch is where you start having issues with acceptable limits. And we're going to go ahead and start with the six thousandths because I checked it a minute ago with a five thousandths and it's definitely warped. So we'll see if a six thousandths fits. Definitely got some issues. Get towards the end, it's tight. Definitely loose. Definitely loose. Not, not too bad there, but it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Uh, she's going to need to be machined. So we'll get that to a machine shop, get them to take care of that. I did go ahead and check the uh, deck on the block. The block looks good. I don't have concerns there. So we'll get this cylinder head machined. We'll get some head gaskets lined up, some new gaskets for everything else. And 